This video will show you how you can use Canvas Studio to record your own lessons for your students. These lessons can include you just speaking directly to the webcam. It can also include you showing and navigating things on your computer screen and also the ability to annotate that while you're doing that recording. So the first time you make a recording in Canvas Studio, it's going to ask you to install the screen recording software. So wherever you access Canvas Studio, whether it's through the global navigation bar along the left, your course navigation bar along the left, or directly from within announcements, assignments, or discussions by clicking on the V in your tools and choosing Canvas Studio, you'll get a screen that looks similar to this right here. The only difference is if you're accessing it from within content in Canvas, such as announcements or assignments, it's going to be a smaller pop-up window instead of your larger window, but in the end, it will all look the same. You'll want to find the record button in the upper right-hand corner. Click on record, and you will receive the two options of screen capture or webcam capture. Webcam capture is very self-explanatory. It just captures whatever is showing on your webcam. Screen capture requires a few extra steps and so that's what I'm going to show right now. The first time you try to do a screen capture it's going to require you to install the screen recorder. So click on screen capture. It will load this screen that says you need to download the screen capture application. And so you'll click download. It will download that installer and you can click on it. Usually you'll see it down in the bottom left in the preview of recent downloads. It will open the screen recorder launcher and run what it needs to run. It's going to confirm, are you sure you want to do this? We do. And then you should get a notification that your screen recorder is ready. Again, you should only have to do this one time the first time you're going to do a screen capture. Click OK. Now when I go back to the record button, I can click record. Choose the screen capture option. It will ask if I want to launch the screen recorder. Click open. Click open if asked to confirm. And now you should see that all of my recording tools have come up. So now that I'm here, I can record my screen. It's going to default to that. You can also choose directly just to record your webcam or if you want to place your own image in the screen capture, you can choose both and it will place a small box down in the bottom left or bottom right hand corner that you can see where it shows you also with what you're recording in your screen. And then what you should see in the upper left hand corner, you'll see a big red record button. Depending on where you're recording on your screen, this might appear in the bottom left. But in my recording right now, it's in the upper left. So you see record. And so if I'm ready to record, I'll just click that. If I want to draw or call attention to anything in my recording, I can click the pencil to start draw and zoom whenever I want to do that. So we'll just do a quick little sample recording, click record. It gives me the countdown. And now it is recording anything that's within that dotted frame on my screen. If I'm ready to call out things, I can choose the pencil. And then I get my draw and zoom options. You can choose your color, your size. I'm going to choose some boxes. Maybe I want to draw boxes to call attention. So then when I'm talking in my video, I can just go ahead and draw out those boxes to call attention to things to the students. You can also come back up here and change it up. You can do freehand. Let's say you're wanting to use it as like a virtual whiteboard. So now you can draw things out. Whatever you want there. And then if you want to clear your board, you can just click erase and it will take away all of your annotations. And then if you're ready to get rid of your draw and zoom tools, you can click on the pencil again and it will go away. And if you were doing a recording with the webcam down in the bottom, that will pop back up. And so when you're done, you'll click pause and then you'll get the done option over on the right. Click done. It will load a preview screen. One thing that's really cool about this is you can easily clip the beginning and the end of your video just by drag clicking the ends and dragging and moving it. And it will show you the only thing that's going to be published. And then once you've chosen that, you can give your video a title. Remember naming conventions. If this is just a morning announcement, you might date it what you the, the date of the announcement. If this is an actual flipped lesson that you want to provide for your kids, 
you'll want to give it that title. The cool thing about using Studio to record this is it's going to save all of these in your library, whether it's an announcement or it's a flipped lesson that you've designed, and so you can easily pull it into all of your sections without feeling like you have to redo it over and over again, even if it's that same announcement. So for this, I'm just gonna label it test. You can provide a description if you like, and then when you're ready, click upload. It will publish your video for you. When it's done, you'll get a notification that your upload was successful. You can click continue. And then you'll notice here in the upper left hand corner, there's the video that I just recorded, added to my library, and ready to be pulled into any class. Thank you.